is another day of fellowship where the man is in control. Hallelujah. And so we bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And so I just want, I always like to, you know, give a little vision of our men department. The main vision is to see men grow spiritually. And uh, when the men see, want to see men grow spiritually, it means that woman should grow spiritually too. Hallelujah. Because we are, we are pointing towards family. Hallelujah. Grow spiritually to impact those in the church and the community so that they may draw other men and also women to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Isn't that a powerful vision? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so today is Men's Sunday. And today is also Palm Sunday. And uh, I believe today also is the ending of Family Week. Hallelujah. So I just want to welcome you all and magnify your name. Lord Jesus. And I am not the moderator, but I just want to read from a passage of scripture here. Um, Matthew 21, 1 to 11. Hallelujah. Matthew 21, 1 to 11. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. When you read us, can you stand for the reading, please, if you don't mind? And when he draw, drew nigh unto Jerusalem, and were come to Bethlehem, unto the Mount of Olive, then said Jesus to the shelters, standing unto them, Throw into the village over against you, and free of the ye shall see the ass cried, and the cross with Come, them, and bring them unto me. And if anyone say all unto you, he shall say, The Lord had need of them, and straight away he will send them. And all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, you be the daughter of Son, be old by King Tommy, how to be meek and the city of our ass, and the call the form of our ass. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them, and brought the ass unto the and the call and and they are from their sorry. And they sat in sitting there. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. And they cut down branches from the trees and they steward them in the way, throw them in the way. And uh, the multitude that went before and that followed 
Fede, Fede, o Sana, todo Sana Fede, blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana, in the name of the Paris. When he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth. Of Kennedy, he came with the glory. Hallelujah. It's not this time I'm going to welcome, before I welcome today, team, sub team topic is Lord, teach us how to pray. Hallelujah. And then we hope and we love, welcome to the Father, and we have a letter for the morning. Hallelujah. A man with a lot of vigor, a man with power, a man that is vibrant in the ministry and the songs of today, even the word of today is vibrant. Yes, we are coming. Thank you, Deepa. Good morning, brother. It is good to be in the house of Lord. Amen. I just want to encourage you to pray for not just women of Olivet, but pray for men. Because as you can see, you will be me to go see. But we are suffering when we don't have men. We don't have a job today. And some of us may have to multitask. And so when there is no man, there is no um, position of being filled. Amen? Does that? That created men in a region to lead and to do certain things. If you notice, we look at the musician and the band with the talent. We have to say, God gave you the talent proper. So you don't have to possibly want to become a musician, and that won't work. We think that it's been given you from before you even were on the field. Amen? So, we're going to go to the next one. Since he's a dear. We can do this most. And so the first service I give it to that so that we we will have a couple of time which will be the time to be praised and our presence and to our worship. Amen. That's the name of Jesus. We can just go ahead to the tree and touch anything that's out there. That is in the midst of the so I feel like we're all being tired this morning. You know, I feel like we're all being tired this morning. You can have to worship God with me this morning. I want to put to us that there is a God of Bible said that Jesus, why did you tell us that? And people pray about branches, they tell us that they spread all of us to the church in the school, walk and walk on, and then that's the power of worship. Come on, your spirit. 
Say, so Spirit, this is a worship time, a worship time. I come in the house of the Lord to worship. If I do nothing else to worship, I don't come to see my sister. Yes, I'd like to see her, but that's not my reason to come to church today. I come because I want to see Jesus. I come because I want to worship Jesus. Yes, I could worship him at home, but I want to shine with my brethren and worship God. I want to shine with you and worship God. So listen to me. We're not going to sit down and wait till something happens. We're going to create an atmosphere. Lord, I love you, Jesus. I love you. I honor you, God. I worship you. I worship you, Jesus. You are worthy, God. You are worthy. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you this morning. We honor your name. God, we glorify you this morning. God, because you are so good to us, God. When we look back in the past week, oh God, Lord, we could have been ushered away. We could have been lost. We could have been under the under under the heights right now, God. But God, because of your mercy, because of your goodness, and God, sometimes we take these things for granted. But we 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 are alive. And if you if you if you ask us, most of us would say, "Boy, not now, go on." But God, I am alive this morning. God, we thank you. We thank you, God, that we are alive and well this morning. God, we're alive. We're not in the hospital lying down. Oh, God, we're not locked up away somewhere in the lock of us. God, we're in your house. And we must worship you, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised, God. God, you are worthy to be praised. Yes, we might not have steak to go home to for dinner. Oh, God, we might not have, oh, God, have a big, oh, God, lavish dinner. But, God, we have you, oh, God, and we have life this morning. We give your thanks, Jesus. We give your thanks, Jesus. Help us to open our mouth and open our spirit and to worship you. We give your thanks, God. And you take us to a busy week. You take us to a busy week, a tough week. And God, this morning we can, could say, we can say, too many danger, tile and steer. We have overcome. And we are in your house this morning to give you thanks. Help us, oh God, as we stand to worship you. God, I pray, God, that you'll tear away every fault inside of us right now. Wash us right now, God, so that your praise can be acceptable. Oh, God, your praise will reach up to you, Jesus. I pray, God, for the moderator, one that you love. Oh, God, with everlasting love, one that you always use. I pray, God, that you'll take over his life right now. Take over his mindset right now. Oh, God, I know he's already planned out everything, oh, God. If something is in that program that you don't want to be there, move it right now, God. And God, let him work off your program. Help us, God, that every heart will be blessed when we leave this place this morning. Bless the word that will be coming. Bless the praise and worship team. Bless every single thing that should be done here this morning, God. We look to you in Jesus' name. Let the church say, Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Come on, worship the Lord, every brethren. God is indeed worthy to be praised. Enough. Amen. Praise God. Brethren, this, at this time we're going to sing a hymn. Sweet hour of prayer. And we all know there is no special hour of prayer. You can call on God any given time. Amen. And you will be there, right there to answer. That's hymn number 560. So it's hymn number 560, Sweet Power of Prayer. That's hymn number 560. You can start to stand with us. Sweet of prayer, sweet of
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sweet power of prayer. You know, before we call on the praise team, I want to say something. You know, I was I was at the hospital last night. I brought somebody to the hospital last night. Huh? Bridget, it was like after 2 a.m. And cars were just coming in. Simon. And me I say. You can imagine we are planning to go to church tomorrow because everything is all right in our life. But there are so many things that God is saving us from. You know, because I could be there and see somebody from church pull up, you know, and get admitted, you know. You see people with all different type of situation, ailment. You can you name it. Person who in an altercation with person, person chop them, person shoot somebody. Virgin, it was just like a I we and you say, I'm so hospital busy. I said to myself, I'm so hospital busy. You know, because Virgin three quarters of these things they're probably not even here about. But God is, is saving us from so many. So, so we have something to give God thanks for. You understand? Because if you put yourself in some of those shoes, 
you have so many things to give God thanks for. Regina, you know what I, what, what I witnessed last night? While I was there, I saw them bring in two persons. And by the time I see them bring in the two persons, I see two funeral home van come. And the same person went walking in, you know, come over back in you know, one sheet. Not even 10 minutes in you know, Simon. Not even 10 minutes. All them just did it. Them just, I push them from the chalet. You know, like when they're there at the supermarket, look it. I saw them, I push them out from the chalet. And them just did it and just left them in the, left them in the place. So everybody can look. And I wait for the doctor to come to say, all right, go on with that one here. Our police to come for you. I mean, I said, Jesus. You know, but we have so many things to give God thanks for. You understand? So when we make it inside the house of the Lord you know, for another week, you know, we have to lift our hands because God is worthy to be praised, you know. God is, when you have somebody where you can pray to, when you have a sweet hour prayer, Richard, when you have somebody where you can get up 2 o'clock, if you feel a pain in your side, you don't have to call doctor. If you feel a pain in your head, you can call your church brother or your church sister and say, may I feel a pain in my head. And by the time them pray, the pain gone, or the head gone, the, the pain in your side gone, Virgin God is delivering us from so much. Virgin, the enemy, the enemy not take no break, you know. Sometimes we want a break because we want, we say, boy, every, every minute we go to church, last week we go to church, we not go back to church till next week. And, and then you rasta your thing, be exclude God. Or, or you, 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 you put God all you want for him in your life. But Virgin, God is including himself in our life every day. Because if God be exclude himself out of our life, Maybe we're not even making it out on the main road. One chuck come and kill we are. How much time you see the, the same thing over and over again? Sometimes when you listen to the news, Virgin, the news is so, what do you call it now? Interesting. Because so many things are happening, but you can just have your Sunday dinner, move out, come back in, and everything is just the same. It is routine. While some people don't even know the reason why somebody come kill them, or them don't know the reason why you know, somebody, some family member do something and person have them up and things. Some persons, the, this, since this week we saw the guy that crashed on the highway. Virgin, and a, a fire burn off his skin completely. You can imagine how uncomfortable that feel when you can't lie down. You can't lie down, you know. They might go put you for lie down, but you got uncomfortable. Right, right now you're in an uncomfortable chair at church. So you can't say glory be to God because you're sitting and you're standing on holy ground, you have an opportunity, Bridget, to give God thanks. So whenever that opportunity comes, Bridget, don't take it lightly. Because God is working for you. Bridget, even when you don't see it, he's working. Even when you don't feel it, he's working. Because when you got your bread, brother, brother Willis, when you go to your bed, and you wake up back, you go to your bed 10 o'clock, and you wake up back 5 o'clock. You don't know what happened between 10 o'clock, 5 o'clock. Somebody come on your window, and somebody broke in your house, and kill you. You don't know what could happen. But you, but you have to say, but God. But God. Because when the angel come by your bedside and sit there, because nobody be feel like this the enemy, I go say, oh, Sister Tia, all right. But I trouble Sister Tia. It's always an attack, Richard. It's always an attack. The enemy keep coming whether you like it or not. Whether you're ready or not. The enemy keep coming. He, 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 and listen to me now. Yesterday I was sharing, you know. With my brethren, I said to him, say, you know that the enemy is very strategic. Some Christian can't walk like a fool, you know. He have a strategic because Peter was right beside God when the, end, when the devil entered into him, you know. And when Jesus rebuked the devil, you know, the rest of the disciples, they must say, what is he doing? No, Peter, they stand upside down. But Jesus have to discern, brethren. You have to have the spirit of discernment. Jesus could have looked and said, I know Peter talk to him. But the devil used the opportunity to use Peter because the vessel was open. Richard, make your vessel right unto God so that the devil don't have any opportunity to use you. We call on the praise team at this time, Richard. Hallelujah. 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 To God be all the glory. Great things he has done. And so as significantly Palm Sunday today, today signify that Jesus was worshipped as King of Kings before victory. Hallelujah. When the wall of Jericho, before it came down, they shout, 
victory. And so, as uh, Brother Raman was, you know, speaking, we have to claim victory by praising Jesus, by worshiping him in spirit and in truth. And so we just want to magnify the Lord in songs this very moment. Hallelujah. Because he's the Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and Omega. We wash in you are me to be Sing it again. You are half of domain. Be with Oh, you are open. You are Say Jesus riding on a donkey, the king of kings. And they spread out their clothes and arms on a red carpet. It wasn't the most clear thing. He was glorified to, 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 to witness, for a witness to know that he was glorified to the lowest part. Hallelujah. So we give him all. 
Ну, Bow down and worship him, worship him, oh, worship him. Bow down and worship me. And And because of Jesus entering Jerusalem, laid upon his life for our sin, we have access. So he is my strength. He is our strength. Hallelujah. Our refuge and strength. Very present help in the time of trouble. Get weary as well. Because he delivered. So he is our strength. You are my strength. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't need to hear your heart, but this little words is in my mind. And it said, yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Every man will bow down and say you are King. Let it start. <laughs> Why should you be That's why you be with Just wanna be with you. I just want to be with you. I just want to be with you. Just want to be with you. Want to be with you, and at this time, you know how to hand over to the moderator who will continue in this proceeding. Just want to be with you. It's the world will bow down and say you off the farm. Every man will bow down and say you are a king. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, the world will bow down and see you are God. You, you know, sometimes persons may make it seem like they have a choice. But every knee shall bow and every tongue 
shall confess that Jesus Christ is indeed the Lord. Praise the Lord, brethren. At this time, we'll have our scripture reading, and it will be done by our dear brother, uh, brother Kenrick Williams. Both scriptures, there are two scriptures, Matthew 6, reading from verse 9 to 13, and Luke 18, verse 1. We bless the Lord. All right, so we'll start off by reading Matthew 6, verses 9 to 13. Say amen when you find it. After this manner, therefore pray ye, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our debts, as we forgive those of as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not faint. Here in the top portion of God's holy word, we honor it by saying, Praise the Lord. Brother Henry, they are giving you the word of God. Amen. Reginald, at this time, we'll be calling on our world-renowned. Um, well, he took over from his mother you know, with, with the announcements and the, the announcements and the, and, the, and the notices and the welcome. So I'm sure by now he assumed the post of it. You know, whatever was given. I don't know. He never tell us. We're going to call on Brother J. Wu Morrison to come with the announcement and notices. World renowned. That's an introduction. All right, good morning, um, Bridget. So I want to start off by reading a scripture taken from Psalms 122, verse 1. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. So on behalf of the leadership of the men's ministry, it is my pleasure to extend welcome to you this morning. First and foremost, let us give a clap offering to welcome the Holy Spirit in our midst. Our host pastor and some of our sisters are worshiping in Macedonia this morning for their Women's Sunday. So they extend an invitation to us and some of our sisters are out there for support. So I want to start off by welcoming our officers, our musicians, our members of the praise team, um, technical team as well, brethren, friends, and children, both in the hall and those who are viewing online. Want to give special welcome to Sister Ezrina Henry. She's here in the house of the Lord with us today. And this morning, we have two first-time visitors. So I want to give a special welcome to Charmaine Davis. Could you give us a wave of the hand? Charmaine Davis run at the back. And Michael McDonald, her grandson, is also with us, with us today. So we extend a warm welcome to you all. Announcements. So Monday, um, prayer meeting will be held in the cell groups at 7.30 p.m. on a Monday night. Tuesdays, Bible study will be held in the hall at 7.30 p.m. Wednesday, fasting and prayer service will begin at 10.30 a.m. in the hall. So for Thursday, women will not be meeting in the hall this Thursday, but the men will be having prayer meeting at 7.30 p.m. 
on Friday. What's happening on a Friday evening? So, Good Friday. The Good Friday morning service will begin at 8 a.m. So, Pastor will be here. So, 8 a.m. we'll be having Good Friday service. And this will be held on Friday. And on the same day, we are going to come back 6.30 p.m. at Olivier Gospel Hall for a yard praise. Right? So, I have the poster behind me. And this is sent in the, in the WhatsApp group as well. So National Women's Fellowship Council is having women's seminar, retreat, and convention. So on April 6th, women's seminar at Emmanuel Gospel Hall will begin at 10 a.m. And the cost is only $1,500, including lunch. So national retreat and convention will begin at Friday, May 3rd to Sunday, May 5th. Retreat will be held at Kendall Camp and Conference Center in Manchester. The convention will be held at Canaan, and for more information, you can speak with Deaconess Finn. So, Albion Worship Center will be having Worship Fest 2024 on Saturday, March 30, 7 p.m. Tickets will be sold at $500. So, I have the tickets here. They extend an invitation to us, so we can show support. That will be on March 30, 7 p.m. To... So um, if you want to buy the tickets, you can contact Deaconess Finn at the front. She will have the tickets available for you. Now we're into the nice part now, Regine. Birthdays. Right, so we have book four birthdays for this week. And today, March 24, we have Sister Belleville Kenton. She'll be celebrating her birthday. Mm -hmm. So you can send their gifts, send their clothes, send their money, Regin, right? Everything will be appreciated. And also, in the hall, we have Sister Sashane Miller, who is also celebrating her birthday. I want to sing a happy birthday for them. All right, so Miss Lou Virgin. All right, Miss Lou Virgin. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, my sisters. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, my sisters. Happy birthday. And then for tomorrow, March 25th, we have Sister Juliet Botnan. And then we have Brother Romario Bailey. So please keep these dates in mind and wish everyone a happy birthday. Thank you, my brother. So Virgin, him, him, him had something else to him name this morning. He's now a, a world-renowned singer. Because he's on camera right here now, if you don't know. Yeah, so when we say world renowned, and you go, you guys don't get it, yeah, check YouTube. And then it might be ranking up some likes on, on there. Virgin, at this time, I'm going to ask you to get your minds in the frame of prayer, Virgin. There are so many things happening in the world. And when you look at 80, 80 is right, a, throw, a stone throw over there, right? And them can jump on boat and just invade, invade, and you can't get no sleep again, right? Because there's a lot of things happening just right next door to us, Bridget. And we need to bear in mind, Bridget, that even though we have things happening in Jamaica, you know, sometimes we're not even paid any mind, but we have things happening in the world that will affect us. You understand? One way or the other. Amen? So we're going to call on our Deacon, Deacon Nelson to come with the intercessory prayer this time so we can intercede on behalf of those who need prayer bridging. Amen? We, we pray 
and God deliver. We pray and God stop the we pray and God deliver. Give us one more. Praise God. Praise the man at a time. Because he is worthy to receive praise and worship, thanksgiving. All honor and all glory belongs to him because he is God. Hallelujah. Holy, 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 Lord God, the Almighty. Holy, 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 cries of the angels as they fly around your throne and declare that you are holy. And so, Father, I humble my heart before you and I bow my knees to you because you are the great I am that I am. There is not a name given amongst men but you, Christ Jesus, the Son of the Most High and Holy God. And so I humble my heart and I bow my knees for you, because every knee shall bow before you, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. You are Lord. And I pray, Father, that as I bow my heart to you, I pray that even the angels in glory may bear me witness. And again, that my name may record in the book of life, that I humble my heart and bow before you, in confessing to you that I am a sinner, saved by the grace and your love. Father, I humble before you. And I thank you, dear God, for every person, every child of yours, every redeemed of yours, who are in this four walls, Holy Father, here we are to have sweet fellowship with you and with one another. Because you, God, have brought us here to have the kind of fellowship and to lift you high and to bow low and to worship you because you are our God. Because you are our Savior. Because you are our Redeemer. Because you are the one who came and shed your precious blood. For all have sinned and come short of your glory. God, we were condemned separated from you, but still your love remained with us, God. And so, Father God, we thank you. From the depth of our soul, our inner beam, our heart, so God, thank you for your love that led you to the cross. Thank you for your love that laid down your life for all, who oh God, that we may come in contact, knowledge and understanding that you is God, the Savior of the world the Prince of Peace, the everlasting arms, the Redeemer, the Son of the Most High God. And now, Father, I present every person here this morning who are broken in spirit, broken in sicknesses, broken by affliction. I know, God, that you are the greatest of all healers and the greatest of all comforter. And so, Father God, I ask in your name, according to your will, that, God, you may send forth your words, O oh God, to heal the brokenhearted and to strengthen every feeble soul this morning, Holy God. In your name do I pray. Father God, I thank you that you are God who answers prayer and that we can come into your presence, Holy God, because you have torn down the walls of partition. You have torn down the veils, dear God, so we can all come to you, Father. So in your presence we come, as God we lift up those before you. Some, O oh God, need to be strengthened toward your words. You know them, you see them, you know their hearts. And so, Father God, I pray that I lift them up to you. They are good, God, that they are to be restored to you, restoration to you. Father God, you said that you call the backsliders and you will marry to them all over again. So, Father God, I lift them up to you again. 
that you may restore such persons to you, Holy Father. Lord, we pray a continuous blessing, so oh God. Father, there are those who are in other sides of the world who are going through tribulations and trials, dear God. But I pray that you may give them victory over the evil one and the powers of darkness, O oh God, that may come upon them. God, be their shield, be their deliverer, be their leader, O oh God, be their hope in glory, because you alone is God. And we know, Father God, that we shall all appear before you in judgment. So I pray that you may prepare the heart of everyone that when we stand before you, Holy God, we may hear, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy, the joy that you have created, the new heaven, the new earth that you are going to need and bring upon her, Lord. In your name do I pray. I pray, God, that as your children journey on the highways and the byways or even in their homes, I pray a blood coverage over every one of them. I pray continued protection and deliverance against the evil, the forces of darkness, O oh God, that would come up and rise up against them. In your name do I pray. Father God, we thank you for today. We thank you that you are going to bless every heart, so the one who will bring your word. And God, that when we go from here, God, we may, be, we may say, well done, in your name. Mm -hmm. Father God, I lift up this oil before you. I ask to consecrate it, and I consecrate it in your name. And I pray, God, that you may use it to do that which is commanded to do. It's not the oil that is healed, but it's your word, O oh God, and your touch. So, Father God, we thank you, and we pray your blessings upon it. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, and amen, and amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Regina, I want to ask you to do something this morning. I want you to pray for the person next to you. Well, maybe they're not at your immediate next, but they are probably across from you. Or I want you to just say a 30-second prayer for that person. Even if you don't know the name, just present them to the Lord. In Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes we don't know what other persons are going through, Bridget. Sometimes persons may have a smile. Or you probably see them going on their way. And if somebody should tell you something about them, you know, it sounds strange to you because as far as you can see, everything looks okay, but not every battle is a low battle, you know. Some battles are silent battles. Sometimes, you know, persons are fighting a silent battle. Amen? So we're going to call on the praise team at this time for the collection of our tithes and offering and giving praise unto God at the same time. Amen? Glory be to God. Watch. Hallelujah. Just the mics, no sound. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. Great things he have done. Hallelujah. Please stand as we bless the morning offering. O eternal Father, God, we give you thanks once more, O oh God, for life. We give you thanks, O oh God, for providing jobs for us to be productive. As we are about to give a portion of your of our pay unto you, God, we pray that you bless it. Father, God, we pray that it goes where we can't go, God. We pray that you bless others that you see the need, O oh God, that you take full control as possible. Bless your, bless your people to give it. Amen. Amen. Pray. Amen. 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 Though the battle may be hard and the conflict sore, oh, Rocky the Lord, stop.
Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Angels go before you. Heaven and earth adore you. What a mighty God we serve. I know the biggest thing. When we believe in him, he lives within our hearts. What a privilege we have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Richard. Come on, man. You think you're like me? You think you're like me, Richard? No, I don't think you're like me. Praise the Lord. Richard, I think you're like me, brother. Talk to me. I don't want to ask for that time this morning to pray for our schools and the boys in the schools, Bridget. Because many schools are not keeping the whole time, Bridget. There's no guy in the school. There's a school. And the regular thing, they're, they're probably the thinking like an artist, a secular artist, than to a prayer in the school religion. So, we're going to pray for the schools this morning so that our nation can be better. We're trying to save our nation. Don't we believe that God can do it? Amen. Praise God. 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 Praise God.
is a doorbell. Amen. Amen. So, I want, I want you to put, put your hands, hands together as we welcome you this morning no other than the Eagle Coral Raw. The Free Word. Check out the honor of the glory. Great things be happen. Bless the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to give a read everyone who is here again. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, I will just hear when the announcement to the so, um, it was here for that pastor. Okay. Yes. Okay. And we also find our minister who is in the midst also with us and deacon, deacons and deaconesses and uh, members and those online. It's a privilege to stand here this morning to, to share with you the good news. Amen. Amen. And I just want to say that I myself is nothing without God. And so before any further step, I would like to present myself to God. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, I thank you for this privilege. Once more, God, Almighty. Yes, Lord, as I come to you, our Father, who art in heaven, King of kings and Lord of lords, I magnify your name. You are Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And so, Lord, you say that. We should ask and shall be given. And so, Lord, I ask you to let self in me die and perish and let you take charge of this temple by your mind, temple of the living God. Be healed, be at the place to Deliver the word of God. Lord, I pray that you will sanctify my lips. Lord, because I am flesh, I am nothing without you. But as I lift my faith in you, Jesus, knowing that by faith my confidence will pull your attention to me, in me, truly, God, for your glory. And, and so, Lord, I think that every spirit in the space which is not of God shall be modified. Every witch, every warlock, every prince of politics and powers of evil, every rebellious spirit against the word of God shall be destroyed this very moment. And so, God, and if there is any spirit of infirmity, Lord, let it perish right now and let you be healed. And so, God, if there is any blockage in the ears, I pray, God, it shall be open now in the name of Jesus. And so, God, I pray that there will be clarity in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 And just to Remind us that our topic today is the Lord. Each of how to pray. Now, many people might wonder when Paul strongly he should be preaching about or speaking about raising Jesus. But I want to remind us that everything that we do that pleases God is worship. So worship is not only to say, Lord, I worship you. With our hands are the stronger. It is and it can be, but it is not only. 
Worship is everything that leads from. Blessed be the name of Jesus. So I just want to give a little highlight of Palm Sunday before we ask. Because Palm Sunday was the entrance being prepared so that we can pray effectively. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because if that did not happen, we would have to have to turn it over to a certain person to reach to God. But today is significant and we still worship God in praise. Knowing that today was the day when he was riding into Jerusalem, and Friday was the day when he laid all his life, when he was crucified. Amen. So, as Jesus said to his disciples, Go, he sent them out with authority to go, and they will see. To a cult and a donkey, and they should pull them and tie them and bring them. And if anyone asks, Why not pull them? Tell them, I mean, Jesus. And that is signifying that the name of Jesus is powerful. It will pull anything we lack. It will pull anything we lack. And further, I will explain about using the name of Jesus in our prayer. Not only by the words, but by believing. Blessed be the name of Jesus. And so as they carried the cord, and the donkey and he was riding, now remember that. The Pharisees and the scribes were the persons who write about the law and those who teach. And so they were not looking to Jesus as King of Kings because, according to them, he was breaking the law. Amen. So the people who got that revelation. Starting to praise Jesus, worshiping him, honoring him as he made that entry. So, palm, they were spreading palm like trumpets. So, today is it referred to today as palm Sunday. Amen. So, we don't palm Sunday, we put not. Have the access to pray. Hallelujah. The way we can know. Freely. Anywhere. Anytime. Shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray. Hallelujah. So. Pray. Lord. Teach us. How. To. Pray. Now, when we look at Matthew 6, 9 to 13, this is the model prayer. Hallelujah. The model prayer. Before I read about the model prayer, it was said that, you know, they were. You know, they watched Jesus praying. And after he prayed, they asked. And the word ask still is very important. And before I go into the mother prayer, it's, you know, they said, Lord, teach us how to pray. And it draw my attention to us as believers. That I hear Brother Roman mention about strategic 
I want to announce that this is one of the most important things that should be manifesting, be acting in church on Sunday and on Saturday, whatever time we say. Because there are some programs that I grow and see. But when I read the Bible, Jesus himself was moving around teaching his disciples before he sent them out. So we can receive all the proper teaching of the word. And so God appointed teachers, preachers, apostles, name them. So the disciples said, Lord, I believe that they were saying that you are praying with Jesus, I have all your prayer. So I want to see your prayer, things are. Are we going to meet Jesus? Do we ask that question? Or are we just thinking we can pray? Because there is a foundation when the giant here with Christ, the ABC, and there is no other way. There is a foundation also for the prayer and the result. And I was announced there is no gift in prayer. Every believer should pray and should be able to pray. Sometimes some of us think of each other about all you have to give us prayer. Come on. And if you think that this person is worse and eloquency, because every believer stood with the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus baptized people with the Spirit. And alone. Amen. Hallelujah. So, it is important that some in a relationship with God. We can have a relationship. Because every one of us in here start to speak a different language without an interpreter. Nothing will move. Nobody can understand them. No work gets done. So praying is communicating with God. How often do we come in here? It is painted. As if prayer is only when you are going to eat food, or when you are going to bed, or when someone is on the point of death, but he said, pray always. Hallelujah. The Lord's Prayer, it says, Our Father, who art in heaven, Mm. Yes, yes, Lord. Mm. Before I go to the Our Father prayer, you know, I just want to make this clear here what is prayer. At its simplest, prayer is communion with God. If spiritual disciplines are practiced, designed, sorry, yes, if spiritual disciplines, I'm sorry, it's not discipline, you know, it's disciples. Uh, I will not allow pride to make me not go back. No, clarity is important. So if I even look like a fool, I have to go back. Disciples. Sorry, if spiritual disciples are practicing, designed to draw us closer to God and to transform us through the work of the Holy Spirit, 
Prayer is the discipline that underpins all the other. Prayer. So the prayer, the discipline to pray then. That means, I know all the while we, we feel like praying. But all the while we don't feel like praying? No. For me, no. But we know that I should pray. If you need money at the bank and you don't feel like go, but you need the money. You have to stay home and say you don't feel like you want to go. You position yourself to go. Prayer is also a relationship and a way to provide patterns for attending to God through the day and night. Hallelujah. So without prayer, there is no communication. So prayer is talking to God. Prayer is also not for we just to pray, to talk rather, and not listening. The moment sometimes we open with more, God send a word in our spirit. But we have a habit that we, it is cultural that we grow to see. It is like, amen. No attentive listening ears. The second word you might hope in your mouth, which God might say, ask the person this, or do that. It is a con. Position is like on the work site, and the boss said, Do this. And they say, What you said, boss? And then you come to your work. Surprise, not always be on the go without mm, interacting. We have different, different types of prayer. Amen. So, as the model prayer. That lay down in Matthew 6, 9 to 13. Sometimes we pray it as prayer, but it is not really a prayer, you know. It is the model prayer. How to pray. These things must be in our prayer for it to be effective. If not, it cannot be effective. First. Our father. Which father? So when we say Lord Jesus. It is still our father. Acknowledging. Who we are praying to. Hallelujah. Who art in heaven. Our father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. So our Father who art in heaven is Jesus. That's a mystery. Don't let it burn. Burst your head. Jesus, the Holy Spirit is Jesus. The Son is Jesus. Hallelujah. So our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed. You remember blind man Bartina crying out his heart out? Hallowed be thy name. There is power in the name of Jesus. You know, this might look simple because it is not a, a vibrant time but if we are not praying we are losing we cannot make it without prayer we cannot and if we're going to pray we have to pray effectively and that is why teaching is important so I said in myself if we can get everybody here today on a Sunday, why we don't use strategically 
teach. When we get the time to, because when the devil get the time, he might use it. Hallelujah. There are some things that all of us need to be teach over and over till it fully farm in us. Or else we're going to be like a punching bag on a daily basis. Have a form of godliness, but the, denying the power thereof. Hallelujah. Your kingdom come. The kingdom of God is within us. And the kingdom of God is God. And the kingdom of God is the Holy Spirit. Mm. The kingdom of God is power. Let your power come. Let your presence manifest. Hallelujah. So we are asking him to let his power take dominion in me. What I'm about to say or do, as he would say in Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and all thy mind and soul. And lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all thy ways, knowledge him. And he will direct our paths. So, prayer. It is not a light. This, this topic, it need. To be ribbit in our soul. Every, you, 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 we might find some people love to pray. And there is a name that some people use. Prayer warrior. And then some persons put themselves out of the circle. But come on. All of us need to be in this war. I'm telling you people. This is one of the weapons. It's not just to come and jump and we hear the word. Sometimes we have to say hallelujah and amen and we not even hear what the preacher said. We have to say so let it be. We need some slowness that when time the water which is the word of God come and sponge it can soak. But if you chew a whole heap of water one time pan sponge it not even soak you know it run out. We need to slow down. Lord of mercy. Slow down. Let the word germinate. Let the soul hear the teaching of the Holy Spirit through his man and woman servant. The encouragement according to God's will for it to resonate in our mind so that we will have strength to face the principalities and the powers of darkness. So we say, let thy kingdom come. Lord, not your will. Let your will be done nevertheless because sometimes our flesh is so dominant in us. It seems like other weird. But you see, because we are so humble, then we will say, Lord, nevertheless, Lord, even though we see that we are here, make your will be done. Hallelujah. So whenever time we pray, we must always know that God is the all-knowing God. So even though I see it this way, Lord, let your will be done. Amen. Hallelujah. Unheard as it is in heaven. And the Bible declaring another scriptures that says, Whatever, before that it said, We are the tools 
when the trees are gathered in agreement, touching anything concerning him, he said that he is in the midst to bless. Hallelujah. He said, whatever we bind and hurt is bound in heaven. And I have to go back and, and that again, you know. It said, we are the tools and the trees are in agreement in anything that is in heaven. That means when we are praying, think slowly. When we are praying and we are praying according to God's will, then whatever we say and heard is bound in heaven. Whatever we lose and hurt, heaven agreed then, in other words. Because he said we are the tools and the trees are gathered in agreement, touching anything concerning him is in the midst. Even now, as I'm speaking, I command each one mind right now by the sound of my voice to be in agreement with what the Holy Ghost is saying to your condition that is wrestling, wrestling against the Spirit. I pray that you will stand up on the word. Keep your mind focused, virgin. Hallelujah. Do not leave here the same. It is with our mind that we serve the Lord. Hallelujah. And so, as we bind and loose, we have given that authority because he said that he has given us power authority to heal the sick, praise the dead. But if we do not possess the power, how is it that we are going to speak to that situation for it to come alive? It's not a Play, play thing. The disciples could not do the work that Jesus did without him send them. Without he send them. And before he send them, he filled them up with himself. So let us not be deceived. Let us not be deceived. There is a scripture. I must find I must find it. I have to find it. It is in I believe Luke 11. Oh, my tablet here. Luke 11. Um Oh my god. Someone find it. Luke 11, you found it? Where it, it starts from Acts and it shall be given. 11 verse 9. You can read it for me. Give her a mic. And I say unto you, ask and it shall be given, seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receive it, and he that seeketh, 
find it, and to him that knock it, it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you, that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if I ask a fish, will Eve for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If he then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So, Jesus here is pointing out about asking, and asking is praying, communing with God. You ask and him answer. You talk and him answer. So, he must say, look here, man. If you ask to the Holy Spirit, he will give it, give himself unto you. Amen? So when you receive Christ, you have Christ have to be formed in you. Not be deceived. You not just believe in Christ and then forward so. He must be baptized you. Because John said, I am not the one. There is one that is coming who is mightier than I. Who for shoes me can't match up with. One who will baptize you. With the spirit. Holy Ghost fire. The empowerment of him in you. And I. Hallelujah. So. Jesus here. Is saying that. Look here man. These are some key things to what we must ask for to uh, Jesus so we can ask him. Some some of us already said, me feel me, me have Jesus. And we are battled so much with the devil. Some strong wall habits. Have we a liquid right? Left and right like when we leave out of church? Because the presence of God is here. And so when the presence of God in here, a lot of us feel empowered. But as we reach through the door, the devil press our weak button. And there is nothing inside of us to empower us to resist. We are resist with our own strength and not realize. So to resist the devil is not a make-up face. Lord of mercy. It's not a strength of our own power. To make up our fears to say devil. Devil. The Bible says, the wise as a serpent and be harmless as a dove. Mild. We can't just say devil. Get behind me, Satan. It comes with power and authority. It don't always have to be loud. It's the of God. So praying, it has stage. Yes, God answers in a prayer. Mm -hmm. Yes, because when David mess up him hear him, we have to come with the right attitude. Where you ask for, where you need, where you want it for. Yes, Samson said, Lord, give me one more. Give me one more chance. Me mess up, you know. But give me one more chance. Why you want it? Because me want to finish. To accomplish what? I was supposed to do. So you mess up. The devil will play on your mind. For you stay down. And about a prayer. So there will be a force on you not to pray. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. There will be a desire on you. Make you feel like your prayer now reach. Ah. So our feelings we pray by? We must pray by faith. All when we feel like, say, me not worthy of my faith, me a prayer. And that's why we must speak in our prayer knowing that God, I am nothing. I am a man of unclean lips. 
creating me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence. Jesus, take not thy Holy Spirit from me, but restore it so that I can have that communion with you again. This is why he entered Jerusalem in beginning. And he finished on Sunday. I was risen. So that we can have this access to talk to the Father in our bathroom, in our bed, in our prison. You know, anyway, there is no way that you can go where you can block your prayer. If they make prisoner under the earth, under the sea, show an eating of fish bellies. And then pray. And God hear him. You know, matter what situation we in, we have to pray. And pray by faith. Not all we feel. Let me tell you, you know, feelings is powerful. I want to say it again. Feelings is powerful. Yes. Of our own strength, we might not be able to put some of these feelings under subjection. So some people argue and then rush out by feeling and get in a trouble and got to go hold we are countable. Because what well, we're supposed to be at the place to get gas, the Holy Spirit to be empowered. Look at the fruit of the Spirit. None of the part of the fruit of the Spirit come by self. It has to be the Holy Spirit who gives us that action of love. And I want love where me do because me know so me figure some food. It is beyond that, far, far. That's why you have people who and they don't please God, but they do good things. Because their heart no right. We can't have tolerance, which is self-control. To deal with some things, we might can use with one strength, a muscle up. And it's in enough churches. That is why Paul talk about perilous time because the people were working with their own strength and the past life creep up on them back. They start malice and keep backslide and slander each other and I minded and heady. All of those things start to creep up back. But when we are empowered by God to Jesus and receive the Holy Spirit, then we will have spiritual strength. Hallelujah. 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 The next part of the prayer said, give us. You notice in the prayer, it asks, is asking, give us. This day, over daily bread. That means, in Matthew 4, 4 says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. So over daily bread, um, the word that I get today, it is not for tomorrow. I'm telling you. That is why in the Old Testament, when they save the manna, which is the bread from heaven, for the next day it's spoil. That means we have to meditate, going to Psalms 1, meditate in his law night and day, and we shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruit in season. So the word that we get for today, some of us have it for the whole week. So one night, 
Bible study cannot keep you for the week. That means people have work to do. So when we get, we can go over and over. No, 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 eat one bread every day. But well, look at it, you know. He never said bread and fish and chicken, you know. It was bread. A bread. So no, but, but the thing about it, what you get, the slice that you get today, don't save it for tomorrow. Eat all of it. Meditate in it. Walla in it. No left none. And then we shall be like a tree. And I could I could jump from David and go to Joshua, you know. God himself after Moses died. Joshua was going to take up the button. I believe he was timid. Kind of fear. Because a lot of us here are fear. There's a, a, a lot of fear of going forward in ministry. Um, to start a business. To start many things. But God said, look here. As I have come, as I was with Moses, I will be with you. I want to remind us that God's voice makes the difference. If we don't understand it, follow it. That's why we can't pray and just pray and leave. We have to pray for answer. When we build up a relationship with God, it's about God. What must do this morning? Listen, how long? Wait. Sometimes I will not walk your mouth and start talk. But we don't have faith. Because we don't hear, we jump ahead like Saul. And go do the sacrifice. And this honor God. Listen for the voice of God while praying. That's our important thing in prayer. To listen. How do we know the voice? I hear someone saying, how do we know the vibe? By reading and studying God's words and meditating and fasting, you will develop a close, intimate relationship with God, knowing his voice, confirming in his word. Hallelujah. That word will not go against his voice. And his voice will not go against his word. Hallelujah. And so, as we are on prayer, I want to say the deepest part of prayer is fasting. This is a secret. That the devil don't want us to know. When you fast, it compels you to listen. Because when you go and fast in a really prayer, if you are waiting on answers and you are waiting on that intimacy with your maker like Adam did have before he fast. Hallelujah. That is why Adam. He know how to do the things that God worked through him before he come into existence. Hallelujah. So give us this day our daily bread. It is the word of God. If we should go into the army, after we have trained, training do not finish. If we're going to be a good athlete and we do well this year and we stop training, next year we're going to fall out. The Bible said, study his word to show thyself up. Amen. And so, good practice 
we become perfect. And if God, if we do bad practice, we're going to become perfect in bad practice. Whatever we sow, and that we are going to reap. Pray. You know, I have nothing to pray about. Just anything that you say, pray. Anything come to mind, pray. Pray for who? Your enemy. If we cannot pray for your enemy, we not see you. I will repeat. If we cannot pray for our enemy, we not see you. If we are bitter, God will not hear our prayers. There are a right way to pray, and there is a wrong way too. And the devil also pray too. The next part in the model prayer would said, and can the question continue? And forgive us our debts, as we also forgive. Our debt card. What does that mean? In Mark 11. Mark 11 verse 20. It says. If we have faith. As small. As a mustard seed. No. This is, this is showing you that. Also prior you know, must have been faith you know. So if we have. Feet as small as a mustard seed, and we speak to the mountain without doubting. That means doubt is a problem. The mountain must obey us. And if we say mountain go into the sea, yes, it will obey us. And it says, whenever we pray, Believe and we shall receive. But it says, if we do not forgive others, the Lord will not forgive us. We now go answer with prayer. Unforgiveness will block our prayers. God will not act on our behalf. So if we have unforgiveness and we pray and something happens, it will happen. I, I, want to, I want to open something here. If we are praying and living a certain life and things are happening, may I tell you straight and myself, it is not God. If we are living a life and we are praying and things happening, living a life displeasing God, let that go clearer. Let that go clearer. This pleasing God. And then things is happening. And yes and yes. Remember. That there's a story in the Bible about Saul. After God cut him off. When he find out that he want to reach to God. I think it is in second, First Samuel 30. When he cut him off. And he now hear. Him Saul who did. Cast out all the witches from around Jerusalem because they are supposed to be stoned to death. Him, Saul, seek up finding this woman and you know, all for real, but back Samuel. Familiar spirit. In Acts 16, 16, we we'll speak of this woman who was speaking. About the goodness of God. And Peter have to rebuke her. Cast out the spirit. Simon the sorcerer. After he get baptized. He were. He in his mind were him to get in power. To buy. So when he see the spirit at work. He, he, he want to use money to buy the power of God. So there are power out there. That are very powerful. Some people now are putting that way that it's powerful, but it's not powerful more than God. 
And you know how I know that? Sometimes, sometimes me hear some something, but when we read the Bible, it challenged me because it sounds so right where I hear it, who I hear it from. But is how some people might say that the devil don't have any power. It needs to be straightened out properly. The devil has power, but God is most powerful. So when we say the devil has no power, that no makes sense based on what we see written. Because when Job was allowed to be afflicted, it was power manifesting and it wasn't God. When all of these storms and the death and whatever took place, it was not God, it was the devil. But God gave us dominion and power over the power of the devil. And we have to be in line with God for that power that he gave, which is him himself, to manifest. Not even in prayer. There are different kind of prayers. You know, as I said here, as we ask for forgiveness. So he was saying, forgive us as we forgive those. So the same way all me forgive. Because me forgive, he forgive us our trespasses. So you will make the way to hear us. Hallelujah. And uh, again, the mother prayer said that we must always ask God to lead us not into temptation. Because sometimes we forget. And we just live. We just live. And we just, we just, it's all about praising God. Not no wrong for praise God, but we have to be focused, brethren. Instead of be watchful in prayer. Prayer can't live out, you know. And the word. Prayer, the word, and fasting. Those are the three core of building a believer's life. Because when you communicate with him, he will tell you what to do, many other things. Sometimes when we are even stony, we say forgive. You, you, God will say, you know, say, if you're not forgive, you're not going to get the breakthrough. That's all God reason. You, know. you can imagine we have that relationship with God. Do we try to make that time with God to talk to him? Read the Bible and meditate, not just in Bible study in the church or on Sunday. We make time for our work. And we respect our past. And we seem to pursue to follow. We have the boss of himself become Sunday. And he determined that we have to lose with job. We send in something sometime. That we can't make it. Sometime. Because we don't want to lose the job. That's a challenge between the flesh and the spirit. No, for me, our, us as a Christian, we're supposed to say, God, what if we do? That's relationship. How if we deal with this, God? Because you first, me need money to deal with my family and food and my light bills and so. So, how me deal with this? God said, you're welcome. Go to church. Tell the boss, so and so and so and so and so. And we do it. Just like when you say, go over there and pull the, you say, two cult, pull them and bring them come. If anyone asks you why, tell them me send you. So when Jesus said, go and tell your boss that, so and so and so and so, do it without fear. So we must not be fearful. We must ask God. This is another thing some people say. Don't question God. Oh, you know if you question, you know if you ask questions, don't question certain things that you know is beyond questioning. Amen? Hallelujah. And so, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For 
Yours is the kingdom. Thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory forever and ever. So let it be. Hallelujah. So to God be the glory. Great things he have done. And so there are some things that can block our prayers. And uh, it is important for us to know what will block our prayers. And it is important to know the will of God to pray according to the will of God. Now, if we do not study the word of God, we will not know how to function. As it says in Colossians 3, if we are being risen with Christ, seek the things above and not the things unhurt. And uh, there are many little phrases out there that sound godly. We have to be careful what we digest. I hear this saying that says, don't be too, not straight, don't be too earthly minded, heavenly minded, and no earthly good. Yes. I question that. If God is the one who we should ask for direction to live on earth, to make it into heaven. When someone speaks a word like that, quoting out, without explaining, but just quote something, it can lead into mess. Because Colossians 3 says, set your affection on the things above. He never says some. He never says balance it. Set your affection on the things above and not on earth. So when we are hauled up into God's business, if we are obedient, he will tell us how to balance the hurtly life. When to have enjoyment, we are talking about the master of us. When we must have our enjoyment in this earth, some of us take it out of proportion following some quote. That we hear, I don't know where they come from. But when I look me, I say, but he says, set your affection. That is a deep desire for God. Or for any, some of we affection there. You know, the earthly things. In you know, our business. In you know, our relationship. And that means God, the third place or some place in you know, our relationship. I in our business cars, we want to make some money, our food. So when we set our affection on these things, then we leave our God. That means we are jealous and him, him pull away. So we have got to reconcile back with him. Then he will empower us so that we can handle our situation. As he said, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all shall be added. Hallelujah. Watch yourselves. Luke 21, 34 to 38. It says here, and take heed to yourself. Least 
at any time your heart be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and the cares of this life and so that they come upon you unawares. For as a sneer shall it come, and all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. And in the day time he was teaching in the temple and at night he went out and abode in the mount that is called the Mount of Olives. And all the people came early in the morning to him in the temple for to hear him. And he came out and went as he was, sorry, went to the Mount of Olive, and his disciples also followed him. And when he was at the place, he said unto them, Pray that ye enter not into temptation. And uh, he was withdrawn from them about a stone show and kneeled down and prayed, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup of suffering from me. Hallelujah. Nevertheless, not my will. But thy will be done. And he go again and pray the same prayer. So nothing wrong will you for us to be praying three years the same prayer. Don't give up. There are some persons here that get fed up. In Luke 18 verse 1 it said, Men are always pray and not get fed up. When it means fear, it didn't mean not get fed up. Why you stop? Should the thing not happen? The Bible says again, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew with strength. The Bible also says again, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Apart from that, there is no Unrighteousness in patwa, I want to declare. No. No. English is not a heavenly language. Yes. Hallelujah. So when we pray, let us wait. In Philippians 4, verse 4, it says, Rejoice always. Rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto God. Rejoice, I said again. Rejoice. He said, be anxious for nothing. But you, prayer and supplication. Hallelujah. And so, prayer is very important. Hallelujah. Prayer is not just a, a little mere thing where we just take lightly. Um, I think it was Miles Monroe that says, if you want to know the size of a church, check out the prayer meeting. <laughs> check out the prayer meetings. That show you the value of the church. Church is not about it jumping up and uh, such forth. It is a part when it, it, when it is a time. 
but it's about seeking God for God to come, to manifest. Because we can all see many struggles and many things within the church. But if we dare touch some of these things with our own strength, we are going to fail. And some of us are going to get even in trouble with God. As much, I don't know why I, 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 I'm just leading down this path. But as much as one has been set over us or any church, we have to be careful the prayer we pray. Because sometimes prayer is not only for us to say, Lord, may I pray. But the word that we open, that comes out of our mouth against each other, especially God anointed persons. It is dangerous, brethren. Sometimes we cast curse in our own life. Even if they err, we have to be careful how we approach what we say. God, we deal with we harshly. So we say problem things now go on a church, right? Oh, y'all deal with it. I one thing God tell me to deal with it with the best thing of prayer and fasting. Nobody not to hear what you say. Sometimes our own strength and power make we get so egoistic. Ma, here. We have to be careful. And God will allow trouble sometimes to wake us up. And I must say, as the men president, I know that the devil strategically want to destroy the other of God's plan. But us as men have to be very wise. Because we have to be careful not to be by a and so by lot. Meaning that we are not a part of building, but we will speak words that will dislude a few who are seeking to rise and to help others to grow in the kingdom. And it is not just some men. But men are few. Sometimes when we look around, there is a spirit that is controlling the mind of those who God wants to use. And if there is no one there to detect, a dead man can't help himself. So if we are persons among us, is not at the place to raise the dead, spiritual or physical. Some of we can't adopt. So the church need to function and operate under the unction of the Holy Spirit. That the eyes of the blind will be open. The wisdom of God will manifest. So that when one speak, then whatever controlling that person will be cast out. And so prayer, it can be long. Prayer, it can be short. And so as I come in down at this moment, I know today is not a uh, real up, but I want us to understand some of the keys. You know, <laughs> before I must say that I want to share this with you. 
that if there are anyone here that are facing challenges to move forward in God, don't give up. When you are determined to do God's work and to live, the devil will punch at you directly to distract you. I'm telling you. And so, every time I realize that when I'm supposed to do something, the distractions are getting heavier and heavier. Sometimes I say, but what my mind is? It's like I cannot focus to put anything together. My keys were lost, not the church key, my key, my phone, everything cut off, everything gone. That should have get me miserable. But before that happened, we show you all got strategic, and that means we have to walk with eyes. I was watching a show. And the enemy was powerful. And you know how they get the enemy? When they surround him, they were saying that he was so powerful. And one said, distract him. Just get him confused. And God, bring, that, bring back that to my memory. Don't get confused. There are some things that people are going to point on you on. But just be humble. Don't open your mouth. Just be humble and be peaceful. And I want to say to you, focus on Christ. Pray always. Pray all kind of prayer. Pray for each other. Pray for our enemies. Pray for our pastors. Pray for our ministers, deacons and deaconesses and the world. Do not get offended when the word of God is presented before you. That's, that's a witch, you know, our wizard, you know. When the word of God is sent before you and you get offended, it's a witch spirit because we are looking for a special person with the word. And that's why God used donkey. Make you never listen to donkey. And wise up. And see what happened to him. Dead. So some of us, we have issue with each other. It is not the word. How we know so the word say A, G, C, and we know it. Somebody can send you a scripture. And you can say, oh, you know, we can't use this in my team. So if you get offended for the word, you know, I want spirit in you offended, you know, not the devil himself. Be sure. Have the spirit of God inside of you, army, and it merged. There should be a rejoicing. When Elizabeth, when she was pregnant, and Jesus, when they come together, the Holy Spirit, there was a rejoicing. As long as the word not alter with, if you get offended. I'm telling you without any apology. It's a spirit of demons and devils is acting that way. Oh, you detect? Are the words we use and detect different spirits? Oh, you feel is the spirit that is within you. And then you must recognize and say, Spirit, no, I don't do that. You know, belongs in other body. I come out. Or if the spirit that demonize you. Amen. So. Prayer. Is. One of the keys. To live. A righteous life. And we must pursue. To pray. And to pray. Effectively. And if we don't know if we pray then. Ask him to him. We tell we. Amen. And so God, we give you thanks for today. And so before 
I go any further. I just want to say, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so I will ask at this moment if there is anyone here by the sound of my voice that is not yet saved, but you want to be a joint ear with Christ so that he can teach you, live in you, and use you as a vessel. So that you can make it into eternity. You can raise your hand. You don't have to come to the altar. Hallelujah. All my weakness. No. And so bright, thou would know where's all my weakness. Thou would know it's all my cares. I'll plead, precious promise, here, here, and hand so bright. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. At this time I will hand over to our minister to conclude us out. Hallelujah. Praise God. I was really, really enjoying the men. I was hoping that the men would close us out. Praise God. I think that's what the Spirit is saying, Brother Al. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I believe there is another gear. As you touch the mic, I am led to pray for our pastor. And uh, I'm going to ask every one of us to stand at this moment. Since we have been engaged about prayer. No, no, no. No. Um, I, I hear that commanding officer. Who is the Holy Ghost. Saying, position ourselves for battle. War. Now I'm going to ask everybody to all hands. La, la, la. Mm. There is a spiritual warfare. Yes, Tanrick. Soldier, get up. Those who can stand, yes, if you're not able to. Uh, but I am asking us, please, position our mind. This is war. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, we, we ask for your forgiveness. We ask for your forgiveness. We give you thanks, Lord, for today. Yes, thank you for that. Hallelujah. The children on the outside. 
come inside, please. Because the children on the outside, please. And don't believe that me start the prayer and me get distracted a while ago. As I said before, the moment you start to pray, and I must mean speak to, when you speak to someone to say the children, Lord of mercy. Yes, I must stop. It is a conversation. So those who are at Georgia today, there is Women Sunday. We are also going to put them in our prayer. Amen. Yes, Deacon Nelson, you stand like a soldier at the door. Hallelujah. Yes, man, there's another little one out there. And uh, mm -hmm. I hear in, I hear in my spirit, like when Paul was on the ship and they were worried, but he said, no life will be lost. Lord, as simple as it might look, we call an altar call for unbelievers, but no, it has been ushered down to prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, Lord. And so as we thank you for your grace and the mercies, we glorified your name. We magnified your precious name. And so we exalt you, King of kings and Lord of lords. Conquering lion of the tribe of Judea, Father, we cannot do it of ourselves. So we come to you, Lord, knowing that it is not by might nor by power, by your spirit. We call on your name, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, let thy kingdom come. Let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today your daily bread. And forgive us of our trespasses. Lord, some, you know, sometimes, Lord, there are some sinful practices that we don't see as sin. But Lord, I pray that you will convict us, trouble our conscience, Lord. Don't let me be comfortable in sin. Disturb our peace until we turn to you. Lord, anyone will, that will reject that statement will be forever in trouble with God. When we can tell God, Lord Jesus, trouble my conscience, that wherever me I mess up, that I will acknowledge, recognize it, and turn, Almighty God. Lord, as we forgive those, Lord Jesus, who trespass against us, Lord, help us that we will make peace with those, Lord, who have problem with us, Lord Jesus, Oh, God Almighty, Father, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. God, we look to the hills. From whence cometh our help? Our help cometh from you, who made heaven and earth. And Lord Almighty, as we come before you, Lord, we pray right now, God, Almighty Father in heaven and earth. Yes, Lord, as we join together with all in hands, knowing that God, there is a transfer, oh God, in the midst now, like a current running through, like a current electricity. Lord, the ice voltage and wire, which is moved by the Holy Ghost right now, God. And so, Lord Jesus, yes, we present our pastor before you. Pastor Reverend Angel, 
GM, by name. God, you make him in your own image and likeness. And so, Lord, you send him here while he have another and many other work, Lord. And the devil who is like a roaring lion seeking, Lord, to try to cause distractions. But by agreement with the believers this moment, Lord Almighty, whether it sound powerful, it's not by sound. Whether I look powerful, it is not by look. But we ask humbly before you. We bow down and worship you, Jesus. Knowing that, God, you are King of kings and the Lord of lords. So, God, Almighty Father, it is not by might nor by power. By your spirit, thus said the Lord. Locate him now. Locate Andrew James now, Reverend Andrew James. Holy Spirit, locate him now. Lord Almighty, we are in a time where God, you said in the last days, yes, there will be affliction and pressure. But someone remind me today, Brother Haldi can all sometimes God want to want us to pursue true pressure. Because he want us to rely on him, Brother Simon. Yes, he want us to rely on him. So that God we will we will not take the glory for us. Jesus, who is God, Lord, you remind me now. That is say. Disciple, pray with me. Pray with me. Pray for me. Some and some to pray with him. There are some person, God, that we can't tell our deep details to pray for. Not be fool here. Not everybody you can tell some deep details. Tell it to Jesus alone. Some things. Uh, some of us can manage uh, certain information uh, and so the Holy Spirit uh, will lead us what to say and who to say to. Some person saying that they don't keep secret but I keep because if Jesus never keeps secret the devil would have known for blow breath in a man you're wise Lord Jesus you said in your word that is only a fool reveal all secret uh, Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, some people are selling a keep secret. Hey, I can tell you that the Bible said that they are a fool. Lord, help us to be wise. Lord, that God Almighty will come at the altar. We now have to put him a man who is free. When we tell him, even though he made the sacrifice, he's going to tell somebody else. Who tell somebody else who now pray? Who start use it as a weapon? Lord, so we are praying that we, us as a church, will not use the weakness of each other to be a weapon. That is a traitor attitude. Lord, and I come against every traitor, every true spirit in the name of Jesus. True spirit in churches. True the spirit, it said in the last days. Yes, uh, some will come traitor. That means to say deacons are going to treat upon deacons. Uh, minister upon minister. Uh, minister upon pastor. Uh, ministers and deacons and, uh, and pastors straight uh, in, uh, against pastors uh, in the last days. The Lord, I put my pastor before you. You know where my God children. And so God, we are in oneness. I believe that we are in one accord. We believe so. Mm. But I come against, yes, there is a lingering spirit. Oh, yeah. There is a lingering spirit here. But I command your mind to be in one. In truth, in prayer. Yes, you need help to. Say, so yeah, say, so you need help. La, la, la. What can I tell you when we pray? God will fix our business. Agree in the prayer. And so God will pray for the man servant, man. 
that every affliction that the devil arise up will be nullified. The war you want, Satan? Yes, God has given us power and authority. And so we lift our feet right now against every ungodly speech against our pastor. Every word that utter, which is not of God, shall be nullified, shall go back to sender. Hey, in the name of Jesus, I pray for healing and deliverance. I pray for his family. Yes, I pray for divine favor. I pray for divine shift and changes. Ah, yes, God is saying to me right now, they are Jezebel's spirit within the church. Jezebel. Jezebel is powerful. I'm telling you. It's a spirit that comes like magnets. When it lock on your mind, you know what you do and come like you can't. Lord Jesus. It cripple your actions. That is why when the man of God who just create miracle, when Jezebel speak, it crippled him mind because he allowed it to because of fear. So I come against every fearful spirit right now. So every spirit that come to watch service to build an altar demonic manifestation in an event cost law I stand with the altar in a fear against every demonic manifestation of altar. I root your altar. The blood of Jesus is against us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every plans of the enemy right now. Your violin and your back can't help you. Masa, Natia, Roma, Roma, Eto, Poco. Ah, hey. The blood of Jesus is against every witch, every wizard spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Hey. You come to test our power. Test. Test. Come. Come. All we have to do is live right. And smile when we see mountain. Come. Because. You will never prepare. Even when it seems like there is no way. Hallelujah. Jezebel, you must be defeated. Jezebel is a controlling spirit that go against the word of God. Jezebel is a spirit that Reject the word of God and turn it their way. And I want to tell you that Jezebel is not a gender. I want to declare that. It is a spirit of the devil who work in a woman named Jezebel, which is a woman. Reason for that, because there are many manifestation of action within woman to defeat a lot of things. To get to man. So the devil use a woman named Jezebel. But man also carry Jezebel spirit. Yes. He got to take over. The head is not here but you want it. It's a spirit. Why are you bitter against the young person who is growing? Nasia, oh no. God is saying to me that he's doing right now like he did in the temple. We turn 
is house into a den of chief. We are robbing him on Sunday morning. He's saying that our worship is Allah. I, I, I'm just speaking. I, 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 I will not hold back. He said, Allah, so come on. Our worship is Allah because we are fighting against each other and the secret. And if we do not turn, we are going to get turned. We are hypocrites. I hear the voice says. We are hypocrites. So much church in the church. And there is a fear. Correct. To speak. But my Bible tells me. That all scriptures. Every scripture in the Bible. So any believer see a scripture and feel offended in a chill with God. It's for rebuke. For our learning. For us to come, become perfect man and woman of God. So Lord. Almighty help us. Yeah, we are asked to pray for our pastor. We are sure we did the, 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 the church around him. I got me a see nice spirit. I may talk. The church around him. Some of us are hypocrites. We behave nice. But God not please. Him. Even if him wrong, what is your help for him? Or me? Or any one of us. Jesus said to the Pharisees, if you're done, you fall night bit. You make the ears to take him out. Much less brother and sister. Where is our compassion for each other? That is what God is saying. Where is our compassion for each other? No, it's not the time to play a church. There are so much things that are hiding from each other, but God knows. May I say, God knows. Someone with smart, with smart, with smart, with smart. With smart. With smart. I don't want to tell you this. It come back to me now. It come back to me. Yes, the Holy Ghost. Yes. Psychology is not the Holy Spirit. Many will see with their eyes and detect. 99% can be true. But when the Holy Ghost tell you something and show you, it is perfect. Our proof, a proof to the devil is not always true. What if his wife are true? But it was a lie. And he go to jail for it. Lord help us. Help us Lord. Against. The power. That we will overpower the power of sexual immorality. Yes. Lesbianism. And sex toys. God no please. Yes, <laughs> Lord help us. So you are showing me these things. Lord, I am asking you to help us. To be at the place 
so that we will be empowered, so that we will be filled up with you, so that we can go out and influence others, so that we can, Lord, help our pastors, yes, and submission spirit. Next one comes to me. We're not submissive. It said, wives, submit to your husband. Lord have mercy. That one here had to know. But yet still some husband now submit to those who submit set above them. So the husband want the wife to submit. But the husband now submit to whosoever set over them. And God has only and another look and I say, you want help? You want help? You will uh, see yourself. I'll come more on. No, so. God. I ask you for mercy upon us. Help us, Lord. Lord, many times as men, we are scanty when it comes on to food time. We allow the devil to steal us away with many different things. But God, the few that stand, help them to stand and to help those that they may come. And the women also, we pray for them to Lord that they will also to be in line with your will. And every exalary Lord, I pray against the competitive, competitive spirit. Lord, I pray against it now for oneness and for healing in our heart. And so, God, as we look to you now, right now, God, we, we ask for your mercies and your grace. And so, Lord, our pastor, we declare healing, deliverance, and a new, fresh anointing, and your ministers and deacons and deaconesses and the pew, those who are struggling for help. Lord, with us. The elderly, Lord Almighty, everything that is written, help us to have a telescope on your word and to draw them in and to put them into practice. Lord Almighty, we thank you for this moment and we honor you, Lord, and we magnify your precious holy name. And so, God, whatever it's you, anyone has that comes, Lord, for a witness. Grant it. Lord, I pray for deliverance this moment. Let this be a day that will be never forget. For your glory and honor. Yes, I cancel untimely deaths and accidents. And we honor you, Lord, and we glorify your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Just stand for the benediction. May the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the Father, the Son, the fellowship with the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, May rest and abide with us all now and forevermore as we go our separate ways. Amen. Amen. Just greet everybody. Just let there be a greeting.